All right, 541 here on this December 5th, Tuesday morning. You know, yep. 90 years ago, this day, 90 years ago, yeah. 21st Amendment was ratified. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. That yeah. is crazy. Seems like that'd be longer than 90 years. Right, the 21st Amendment. Exactly. You remember Remember that one, Nick? 90 years ago today. Yeah. So that would have been 33. Right. Is it prohibition outlawed? Repeal. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was good. Well, he wow. is a history buff. Yep. I am a history buff. It would be right after the 20s. It makes a lot of sense. So Exactly. So uh, that was party on, Wayne. It was, it's all round numbers, so it's... <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Let's uh, get into our forecast here, Nick. Uh, and it is these numbers chill down before yeah. we go back, back up. up. It's, yeah. uh, you know, feeling like December. This is kind of what we've been waiting for, I think, for some of you at home. We've had a couple of warm stretches out there. Showing you these temperatures again, just if you're waking up with us now at uh, 542, 37 degrees. Feels like temperature is about seven degrees cooler than that. Overall, it is going to be a bit breezy out here today. Our mile per hours uh, around the 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts out of the north and west most of the day. That is going to bring in that cooler air tonight pretty quick. We'll have the clouds exit, and by the time we get into uh, early tomorrow, we'll be about 10 degrees cooler in a couple of spots. So expect the chill tomorrow. The good news is no precipitation to worry about for that morning drive. We're getting rid of this rain. Snow off to our north there should not impact us very long. Things are going to be hanging around the Great Lakes as far as snow goes, but everything is moving very quickly eastward. Behind this, it's fairly quiet. We have several days in a row where we're really not worried about much out there. Temperatures around the uh, Midwest are pretty close. Chicago at 34, only three degrees cooler than where we're sitting at in Springfield. Slightly warmer, Carbondale at 40, but again, most of the Midwest not seeing much of a change. We're all pretty much warmer or close to the same temperature we had yesterday. That warmer air way out west, it'll eventually arrive here. We just got to wait a little bit for it. Our future cast feels like temperatures here today. Going to be slowly warming up. Don't expect much of a warm up from what it feels like right now. Basically feels the same all day with those wind gusts here. Overnight tonight, we cool down mid 20s. Winds do calm down overnight, but our temperatures are dropping below freezing. Shouldn't be a major impact. We have all day to day to dry out and then tonight, so I don't expect freezing problems. Wednesday is a bit chilly as well. We end up in those upper 30s with feels like temperatures cooling back down. And then here comes Thursday. This is what we've been waiting for. Now we're talking. 50s by the time we get into the afternoon on Thursday. Much more comfortable. This is the kind of weather I like here. And then we'll start uh, really not cooling off too bad, too much there for Friday morning. I do expect to have the rain chances go up for us over the weekend. There they are showing up on our um, uh, monitor right there. The next snow chance may be Sunday morning, but it is not much in the way of snow. Really not going to be able to stick. You can see here we're above freezing on Sunday. And then next week will be pretty mild, right back pretty much normal temperatures for us, mid-40s and 30s by the time we get into next week.